What's going on, guys? Um, I just wanted to to point this out, I guess. Um, I actually think it's a good thing. It kind of sucks, but it, it's it's more of a good thing. It looks like, remember back in the day, you know, year one, year, year two even, maybe, of this game when you could send a march at a castle and it not you know, either get completely wiped out or you not kill 40 million troops in one march, you know. You used to be able to still win battles in towards the castle and everything, but not completely zero it. Um, you know, zeroing a castle would take multiple, multiple marches, but, you know, you would be able to actually send a march at a castle. Um... It kind of looks like we're we're getting a little in touch with the uh, the past in that regard. Not so much like I can't go up and send a solo march right now to uh, um, to Witcher. You know, if I go send a solo march at him, it'll it'll just get killed. Uh, it's not quite you know what it used to be on that in that aspect, but in regards to weaker castles, uh, where the strength differential is, um, enormous, it looks like the game has, uh, you know, a new battle feature that protects these smaller castles from, you know, just getting one march zeroed out, um, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to torture enemy farms and everything, um, but ultimately, I think it's better for the player, um, especially for the player that, you know, either doesn't spend or doesn't spend as much, but still wants to participate in events and in battles and stuff like that. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not too mad at it, I guess, but here's here's just a couple examples. This is from today, and this has happened to me a bunch of times in the past few days. Um where I will go solo march on a castle where, uh, you know, a, a month or so ago, a few weeks ago, this would just be completely torched in one march. Um, that's not happening anymore. I'm getting this little statement saying, hey, you're too strong, quit being an asshole. <laughs> but it, uh... You know, it gives these players time to get the alert on their phone and, and log in and try to save uh, the rest of their troops. You know, it's not a negative thing, I don't, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, did anyone else notice that? Anyone else going through the same thing? I actually have a full prison right now. Yep. Well, we might as well interrogate and torture them. They are enemy heroes after all. When I first came here and uh, when we first started battling and everything like that, I made sure to um, to release their heroes just because I know, you know, if my hero ever gets capped, I'm, you know, I want them to release it. I don't want them to sit there and hold on to it or have to suicide it and wait the extra two days or just wait the extra time for them to kill it, you know, whatever, I don't want to go through that, I'd rather get my hero back, <laughs> um, but some of the members started playing games and wanted to uh, keep heroes, so, you know, two can play at that game, anyways, so yeah, I'm interested in, in what people think or feel about that, uh, the battle, um, premature stoppage, I guess is what it would would be called. I don't fucking know. But hey, it is what it is. Peace.